I'm Penny, welcome back to my channel, hope you're all doing really really well. Today I've got a makeup testing video and it's by this brand, Ulac. Now, I've got some products here, some were gifted, some I bought. So the foundation I bought, the bronzer I bought and the blusher I bought. And then because I bought those I got a free blusher gift with purchase and then I also... I was gifted some lip products, so I've got a lipstick in the shade number 10 Sahara and it's a lovely sort of goldy colour, that's really pretty and then I got this pink lip gloss that's sparkly, there's sparkles all in it if you look and then this sort of matte liquid lipstick, this one is in the shade daydream and this is in the shade it's in the shade I can't read it can you read it I don't know I don't know but there's those so that's what I got there and then I'm also going to test the floss highlighter that I got from the glossy box this month and the milk mascara that I got I think I got it in one of the beauty boxes that I ordered. So I've got that. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm testing. And then I've got some other products that I'm just going to use to make a full face. So I've got my Elf. I'm, I'm either going to use the Elf or the Maybelline. I'm not sure yet. Um, my High Key Mascara. A selection of eyeliners, depending on how the look cut turns out. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it, really. So... I'm going to start with my eyes. Now, I've bought this one out because this is an eyeshadow, a liquid eyeshadow, and it's in this, like, cool tone bluey black. So I thought if I get this one out, I'll be able to do sort of a bit of a smoky look and then top it with that. So we start off, as usual, with my Beauty Bay Eye Base. It's the only one I use because um, it's the only one that doesn't sting that I found anyway. Um, I've had, tried a few others. I had one, oh, I think it was last year or the year before from the Revolution Advent Calendar that was really good. It ran out, but that one didn't sting either. But then they switched it for the Ultima Eye Base and that does sting. So yeah, I was a bit gutted about that. So there's that. And then I've got my trusty bag of eye brushes. So we'll get them out and we'll make a start. I think I'm just going to do quite a basic eye look with this. I think I'm just going to put like a sort of a mid-grey here through the crease. And then I'm going to use this sort of on the outer and then go back to one of these for the inner. I think that's that's all I'm going to do. Just a very, very basic look. Just just because, you know, you don't need it um, in depth just to try that out. So just a bit of that just to put through. As a transition shade I do like this smoky eyeshadow palette it is lovely I haven't bought the nine pan and I'll be honest I don't think I'm going to either I don't think I'm going to buy the nine pan I'm not I'm not sort of feeling no shades so I think I'm just going to stick with the 42 pans and the 16 pans from now on I'm not going to bother with the nine yeah I think that's what I'm going to do I've got all the others in the nine pan, but they're all mattes. There's no shimmers, so they're not even any good for me for like travel or anything. Right, uh, and then I'm going to take another brush, just a small one or smaller one, more compact. No, nope, that isn't. Where are we going? Where is it? Uh, nope. Here we go, a bit more compact. And then I'm just going to go into, I think, this darker shade here and just deepen it out at the outer corner a bit. And then I use the other one. So here we go, just out of there, just there. Right, there's that. Now, I'm not sure how this is best for working, so let's have a look. Um, 
I'm going to use the same brush I just used but I'm just going to put this tap this onto this outer corner like that I'm going to take my brush and then I'm just going to buff it Hmm, I don't think that was the way to do it. That's gone a bit patchy, hasn't it? So, uh, oh no, maybe not, maybe not. Let's have a look. That looks all right. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. I'm going to do the other side. Uh, see, I've done those and they're really pretty. They are really pretty. It's a really pretty colour. I don't think it's showing up on the camera very well, but it is really pretty. And then I'm just going to go into, I think, this silver here with a finger and just do my inner corner just to brighten that up a bit. And then I'm just going to take a clean, fluffy brush and just merge those two together like that see and I just think that's really pretty and this silver that is stunning look at that look at that And then again, just merge the two in the middle there a bit. A little bit more this side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I think that's really pretty. I do like that. Okay, so, um, right. Now I'm going to just get that off of my hands. Uh, I've got a new primer. It's just a Revolution one that I got in one of the boxes that I bought. And it's the Star Primer, Water Gel Primer with an A's extra. I don't know what that means, but I'll give it a go if I can get into it. One second. Okay, so it comes out looking like that, which is a nice bright blue. And put it on. I've done all my skincare already, so I've got my SPF and everything on. Oh, it's really hydrating, really hydrating. Yeah, that feels really nice. I've left my nose studs in. Oh, one second. Okay, now that's left that's left quite a tacky base look. So that's quite good. That's quite good. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes anyway. This is the um foundation I picked up from them, and it says it's nourishing to nourishing skin to skin matching foundation. So it's skin matching natural lightweight creamy makeup and there's 30 mils in here and i got the shade 02 rosy ivory so yeah i didn't get the concealer because they didn't have a shade that matched me so there's that now i've got this brush this is one of my shein buys i don't know if it's going to be any good i have got a backup here if i need to but yeah i thought i'd give it a go just why not while we're testing new stuff looks an okay match doesn't it so let's have a look we'll just blend it in there's my mirror so i can see what i'm doing okay this brush isn't too bad and it's definitely a good match yeah i'm glad i didn't go they had a concealer but it was um the next shade down and i'm glad i didn't go for that i think it was the next shade down or one down two down i'm glad i didn't go for that because it would have been too dark with this one so i'm just i'm not going to bother with concealer i need to because i've got serious bags under my eyes at the moment I'm not sleeping the best but that's just part for the course 
I don't tend to sleep very well, like ever. Okay, all right, I'm having a look close up and I like that. I like that finish, it's really nice. Now I've got some dry bits down here, but it's not clinging to them. I thought it might, but it's not. I'm just gonna take a little bit on here and just tap it right up under my eyes. Literally one pump has done my whole face. One pump. I wouldn't have said it was full coverage, but you can definitely build on it. Yeah. I put the price up on the screen. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was about £14, something like that. It wasn't dear. And it came really quick. Mm. yeah and that's sitting really nicely on my skin there look and it's covered up the the redness around my nose mm. yeah okay yeah I'm impressed with that that's really nice that's really nice cool I'm glad that's nice because I've got a whole bottle of it to use <laughs> so there's that right now I haven't got any cream products to use on these so I'm just going to powder down and then I'll be back because I'm just going to use I think I'm going to use this one tried and tried and tested as you can see I have hit pan haha <laughs> so I will be back right so I got a bronzer I didn't realize it's it's a shimmery bronzer but that's okay we'll go with shimmery so this is in B01 Sunkiss so I think this was the lightest one they did so I'm not going to take loads though quite a bit comes off and then we'll just bronze up a bit let's have a look in here okay okay it's not as glowy as I thought but it, it I mean it's got a glow to it but it's actually a really pretty color that's really nice that's really I never thought I'd like I don't know why I'm getting into glowy products Lisa you're rubbing off on me we'll do this side Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see, because obviously, yeah, but it's glowy, but it's not accentuating my pores, which I'm happy about, because obviously nobody wants that. Okay, I really like that. That's really pretty. Let's just bronze up a bit elsewhere. A bit more, a bit more here bit more here, bit there, okay yeah I'm liking that, I'm liking that, that's really nice, I really like that, now I've got two blushes obviously, uh, one I bought one was like free gift for purchase, now we've got one more time and that's like a pinky colour, they're both sort of pink, but that's that's like a, a mauve pink. This is what I'd normally go for, and this is like a brighter pink. And this is called Petal Blossom. I think we're going to go with Petal Blossom. Why not? This one. It's really pretty. So, let me find a blusher brush. No, that's not big enough. What about this one? No. Uh, no, that's one I just used. No. No. Okay, yeah, we're going with this. Here we go. So we dip in, it's quite pigmented, so we just tap off and then just put it on. Is that coming out? It is, you can't see it, how bright that is. That's, that's really pretty. Okay, okay, you can't, I wish you could see, this camera's just not doing it justice. But yeah, it's really pretty, really pretty colour, really liking it. Yeah, I like that. That's really pretty. 
Yeah. Just need the donut houses. Mm. Yeah, I'm liking that. I am liking that. I'm liking how my base is looking. It's looking really nice. Yeah. It's looking really nice. So, the only other thing that I've got to try for my base is the floss. Now, I've got this in the glossy box and it's really pretty. It's this sort of goldy colour. But I'm hoping it doesn't come out that gold on my face. Oh, we've got another brand new brush. Look, this is the P. Louise one. This is the F18. I don't know what kind of brush it's supposed to be. Today, it's a highlighter brush. There's nothing coming off. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it is there. I'll do it the other side. I think you can see better because of the camera angle the other side. See, it is there. It's quite subtle. But can you see it? No, it doesn't seem to be creating a cast from the front. Yeah, I'm liking that look. Yeah. So I can't turn my head any more than that to be able to show you. Put a little bit more on my lot. Hmm. Yeah, okay. A little bit. Uh, why not? Yeah, I like that. I do like that. I think that's really nice. So, next, back to eyes. And, oh, I've got itch. Oh, right. Um, I'm going to do underneath. No, I've got this to test. I've got this in a Timu set, and it's an eyebrow pencil. But it's really, really fine. And I'm hoping it might be good. So, let's have a look. Huh. Like I said, I bought this uh, in a Timu haul. Hmm, that's looking all right. It's the right colour for me. And it is creamy. I don't really need to fill in the front of my brows. It's sort of from here, down here. Like down through where I've got my piercings. My hair sort of... It's there, but it's really quite blonde. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that. I'm not very good at doing my brows, I'll be honest. They get done sometimes. Sometimes I don't even bother. Because, yeah, it's not a bit of me. It's not a bit of me, really, to do my brows. But I'm trying to be... I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it. Right. We need to do underneath my eyes. So I need... Here we go. I've got a tiny, tiny little one. And I'm going to go into, I think, this this grey down here. And then just run that right tight to my eye. eye uh, oh, what's that line? The lash line. Right tight there. And that side. I am getting some fallout from the it's from the the silver that I used out of this palette on this eye. I don't know why. Cuz it's not on the other eye. So There. So I put that under there. And then I'm going to use my Revolution Streamliner in silver and just do in my oh, I'll do it on here. Just do in my waterline there, just to brighten it up there, like that, like that. Look. Let's see. Oh. Is that working? No. Mm-hmm. 
there we go so it just brightens it up there and then i'm going to use this this is the milk mascara i've never tried milk mascara i don't know if it's any good so we'll give it a go it is sealed so i'm just getting that off oh i don't i don't know what it's like it could be good it could be rubbish we'll find out we'll find out together so it's this oh it's that way around that's why okay i like the that so far let's have a look shall we we'll do the lower ones first always do my lower ones but i don't know why i do that i don't know why i do that Okay, it's not too bad on the lower ones. Let's have a look at the top ones. No, I've just had my lashes lifted and tinted. I don't think much of that. I mean, it's all right. But it hasn't done anything to my lashes that lifting and tinting didn't do. So there's that. Right. Lipstick. Now, I think I'm going to go in with this one. Am I? Yeah. I think I'm going to do this. But I've got a... This is the... Oh, no, that's a red. We don't want red. Have I got a brown? I could have sworn I brought a brown over. And I haven't. Well, rats. It says, it says retro red, but it's a brown. I swear it's brown. But we'll line with this. Let's have a look. No, no. It's red. Never mind. Just do that. Yeah, it's definitely red. Sort of rub it in a bit. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to put this on. We'll see. See how it goes. Actually, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it. So we're going to take that off because that hasn't worked at all, has it? No. Mm -hmm. So... There's that. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. I think this is a liquid lipstick. I think it is. We don't know. We'll find out in a minute. So, just... It's a gloss. Ah. 
up. That'll do for me. I think that's all right. Just a bit of colour in it on your lips. Um, yeah. And that's that. I haven't put any liner on the top of my eyes because I just, I think it's dark enough there that I don't think it needs it. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to, well, I was going to brush my hair and I'll come back and show you my finished look. And I'm back. Okay, final thoughts. What do I think? I like, I love the foundation. Um, and I like this primer. I didn't think I ever would like a primer like this, but this is so hydrating. It's really lovely. And I really like the foundation. They have gone on so well. And I really like how my base is looking. It's looking really nice. Um, obviously, I like this. Um, so, yeah, they're new. Um, I do like this bronzer. Now, it is sheeny. I don't care it looks I like it I like how this is looking yeah I really like that so that's really pretty I like the blush I, lo I love that blush that blush is nice this it's nice it is nice it's not as nice as my revolution the the baked ones that I've been raving about but it is nice and I would use it again yeah I definitely use that again that's really pretty so I like that um this this is the find of the century this this was like in that timu makeup set you'll see it in one of my timu videos um but i really like that that's really good um i like this this is really nice it's a gloss but it's not like real really really sticky it's quite comfortable on the lips i do like this but i just think i had the wrong shade lip liner with it i think if i had a nice darker brown this would have gone nicely um the eyes i'm loving i love this they are so sheeny and i think it's a perfect accompaniment with the the b um beauty bay palette so this is in the shade steal my heart and it's it's a lovely little liquid um, eyeshadow, and like I say, it's it's gone on so well. I haven't even used lip liner because I don't think the look needs it. I think it's dark enough. The milk, where is it? This, yeah, I don't really rate that. Nah, I don't really rate that. I mean, my eyelashes look like they did before I put it on, so they haven't really enhanced them or anything. I mean, it's all right, it'll do in a pinch. I'll probably stick it in my handbag or something. You know, it wouldn't be one that I reach for on the daily, but if it's in my handbag, I'll probably use it. But, yeah, that's everything. Um, I'm going to keep this makeup on for a while. I'll come back and do a wear, let you know how it all wears throughout the course of the day. All right, so I will see you soon. Okay, I thought I'd check in. I'm in my downstairs loo because I'm going to take all this off, but I thought I would check in with you first. So just to show you, I'll bring you up closer. Right. It's not done too bad. You can see my eye makeup has worn off. I was really cheeky. I had a nap. So, yeah. But I think I'm looking in the mirror here. But this has held up really well, really well. It's come off a bit round here, but you would expect that. I was sleeping on this side, so you can see my eyes have run, my makeup's run there. And it's sort of all come off up there and a bit there. But my actual face makeup, because it's the foundation we're testing, has lasted really well. I've had it on for about five and a half hours. But like I say, I slept for about an hour and a half of that. I was, I was tired. I fell asleep so yeah that's it's, uh, it's held up well it's held up well i'll bring it over here i'm gonna have a look in this mirror for myself yeah literally the only place it's gone is round here this bit here and that's where i was laid on the pillow and i guess i've rubbed in there or something but just in this bit here it's gone um, but all around here it's okay, here it's okay, it's not, it hasn't broken down anywhere that I can see. No, even, even the bronzer and the blusher are still there, apart from this bit. I'm missing a bit here, but as you can see my eye has literally run all the way down there, and I've rubbed it. To try and get rid of all of the 
I make up because I make up went all down here and I woke up and I did this. So that's why the eye makeup is just there. Because <laughs> I do, I woke up and I rubbed my eyes and I went, I make up. But that's why that didn't last. But like, I mean, around here, I, I have really gone at it in my eyes. So yeah, that's why that there's a bad. But like the foundation itself all around here, this is where you're always touching. And that's where I was touching. It's still there. It's still there. And it's still, yeah. I think it looks okay. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it from me. I do so hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos to come. And hopefully, I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.